flexion knee pillow squeezes. So we're coming to our chair and we're gonna have our block. It doesn't matter that you can't see my face. Ordinarily, in Agoscu exercises, when you're in a seated position, you're gonna be tilting your pelvis forwards um, so that you work the muscles around the hips and the lower back to keep your pelvis in this position. For flexion knee pillow squeezes, you're actually gonna be relaxing backwards slightly through your pelvis and you're gonna be slightly rounded through your spine. So you can see there how my pelvis is actually tipping backwards slightly into flexion and my spine is also going into flexion as well. This is because we want to wake up the inner thigh muscles rather than waking up loads of other stuff around the pelvis and the lower back. You're not gonna be so excessively tilted back that you're kind of curving onto the back of the chair and using the back of the chair for support. And you also want to keep your shoulders back and down behind you as you do this. So the pelvis is relaxing back, the spine is slightly rounded, but you're gonna pull your shoulders so that they are behind. The block is gonna go this way around in between your knees. And when you look down at your knees, you'll see that the block being in that um, angle is keeping your knees more or less at hip width apart. Your ankles are gonna be directly underneath your knees from the side view, and you're making sure that from the front view, your toes, your ankles, your knees, and your hips are all in alignment. So your toes are not splaying out to the side like this. We've got the toes in alignment with the center of the ankle, center of the knees, and the center of the hips. I'm gonna put my palms facing up on my legs like this. I'm gonna pull my shoulders back and down behind me, but I'm staying relaxed through my pelvis and through my spine. My belly also stays relaxed, so release any tension through your belly. You may well notice that it wants to wake up. We are going to do three sets of 10 reps here. So I'm gonna squeeze my knees into the block, hold and release. Squeeze, hold, release. You're trying to go for a continuous rhythm rather than it being that you're kind of hurried and jerky and it feels quite um, haphazard, shall we say. You're trying to go for like a smooth, almost bellows like squeezing and releasing so that you're keeping the movement and the tempo going and it's not just like Okay, so you might feel wobbling, you might feel jerkiness, but try and be as controlled and rhythmic as possible. Pulling my shoulders back and down behind me Pelvis stays relaxed, belly stays relaxed, 10 squeezes, we'll have a break and then we'll do two more sets of 10. Off we go. One, squeeze, release. Two, squeeze, release. Three, squeeze, release. Four, squeeze, release. Five, squeeze, release. Six, squeeze, release. Seven, squeeze, release. Eight, squeeze, release. Nine, squeeze, release, 10, squeeze, release. We're gonna take a little break. I don't want you doing 30 reps all at once because we want you to be practicing resetting up in between each set of exercises. It's very good for your brain to have to go through things a number of times to make sure that it gets used to what you are asking of it and you are more likely to lose position if you just go through 30 reps without kind of concentrating you might start then rolling forward through your pelvis or puffing your rib cage up or tensing your belly and you've got to remind yourself of these things until you get the um, sort of form right. So we're setting up again, toes, ankles, knees and hips in alignment, ankles underneath the knees, pelvis tilting backwards, spine tilting backwards, shoulders pull back and down, which is different. My rib cage is not puffing. The rib cage stays relaxed, the shoulder blades are moving. Off we go, belly stays relaxed, 10 more, one, squeeze, release, two, squeeze, release, three, squeeze, release, four, squeeze, release, five, squeeze, release, six, squeeze, release, seven, squeeze, release, eight, squeeze, release, nine, squeeze, release, ten, squeeze, release. So hopefully feeling a bit of burning on your inner thighs, maybe a little bit in your quads as well. I don't really feel a burn, but I do feel that kind of, uh, like a wobbliness, a slight jerkiness there. So this is where you should be feeling it. You might be noticing that you want to move your pelvis lots or squeeze your belly or tense your upper body, and that is compensation. It's telling you that your adductors are not responding appropriately to the demand that you are asking of them. Adduction. That's gonna be very common with people with external knees. Your adductors probably aren't gonna work very well. We can tell that from your posture. So 
Try and stay relaxed and try and listen to the cues. It might be that you can't do three sets of 10 straight out the gate, that's absolutely fine. Work towards it, but focus on the cues and not rushing through them and just try and see finish the exercise off. Shoulders pull back and down, pelvis relaxes, spine stays relaxed, rib cage stays down, belly is also relaxed. Off we go. One, squeeze, release. Two, squeeze, release. Three, squeeze, release four, squeeze, release, five, squeeze, release, six, squeeze, release, seven, squeeze, release, eight, squeeze, release, nine, squeeze, release, ten, squeeze, and release. Pop this to the 